Ban Rouge may soon be ready to level up. I'm just hoping for enough success to where I can, can work on the next game and then work on the one after that. Lance Trahan and his brother are developing their own video game at the Louisiana Technology Park. Lance says that the Technology Park has been a major help in getting their game developed. And right now we're still learning. <laughs> we're still doing all those great things, but and it's but it, I feel like being here we've learned we we've, we've had chances to avoid mistakes that we could have otherwise made. So he says that Baton Rouge has a lot of potential to be a more developer friendly city, but then more developers can help attract more business. The kinds of developers LSU can provide. It's an incredibly deep topic, subject matter that goes into physics, it goes into mathematics, it goes into graphics, it goes into hardware, it goes into software. Um, there's certainly business elements, creative elements, design elements. Mark Abanel, LSU Digital Media Arts and Engineering Director, says that LSU can help hopeful developers find success in Baton Rouge through LSU. Well, there's a few things. There's expertise, which I think is the, key, the reason that this, what makes the center interesting is we have people from all disciplines uh, uh, from all parts of the scientific world. He says that LSU can help developers learn the skills to get noticed in the industry, but that it takes a lot of self-motivation. Uh, you have got to really want it. Um, there are a lot of people who want to make video games. There's a lot of people who think they want to make video games because they play video games. And there is not a shortage of people who have a desire to enter the industry. For now, Lance is optimistic about both his game and the industry. It's, it's a big wide world. So I think everyone benefits from having more choices as far as things to play. I'm Max Merchant with Tiger TV.